Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have Stormy and we have Home. Okay. Number 10 can be significant here. Number 21 can be significant here. Number 1 can be significant. Number 3 can be significant. Okay. It says Stormy and it says Home. Now, on the surface level, okay, this sounds like a turbulent home situation okay and that's just on the surface level we have the first house we have neptune here we got pisces wow okay neptune and pisces first of all neptune is home in pisces and as a matter of fact, Neptune right now is in Pisces. I don't know how long Neptune has been in Pisces, but it has been a while. I don't think Neptune goes into Aries until like 2026. So we still have maybe like four or five more years possibly, but that means that Neptune has been in Pluto. I mean, I'm sorry, Neptune has been in Pisces for a long time. With this in the first house, it feels like somebody's being delusional, okay? Like 100%. First house is about your identity, okay? It's something here that you're not being. It's like you have your image of how things are supposed to look or how you want things to look, but looking and being are two different things, okay? And Neptune and Pisces are notorious for things not being as they seem or people not seeing things clearly it seems to me somebody is dealing with a turbulent home okay and they're dealing with it but something there's some type of delusion here there's something surrounding delusion okay pisces is the last sign it's the sign right before Aries, right before everything gets rendered back. So Pisces can be a bit scattered. It can be very connected to emotions, like very unable to see where they start and where they end, okay? Okay, we have the King of Pentacles here. This could be an earth sign here. It could be somebody that's like the breadwinner or somebody that's making money or maybe the husband or something like that. Okay, but I'm seeing a masculine energy here and I'm seeing Stormy. So there's something here that's like really, I don't know if it's something with money. I don't know what this is. It has to be family or something. Maybe this is the person that is very angry. Maybe this is an angry person. Maybe this is you. Maybe you get irritated or something like that. But this is a court card. This is the king of pentacles. So I know it's a person and it's on top of stormy. So somebody's going through it. Like somebody feels like they're out in the middle of nowhere and they can't find their footing. The King of Pentacles is comfortable on land. They're not comfortable in the sea. So I know that there's something emotionally going on here, like crazy, okay? And think of being out in the middle of a storm in a boat you might not make it type shit. And this is going on in the home. Somebody here is not, um, oh Lord. And you got the sun right here. Now that slid out, but I didn't see what was underneath it. So I'm gonna push that right back. But you got the sun out here next to home. There must be some type of child involved in this. Okay. Or something is being exposed at home or somebody seeing the truth about something. Somebody's true soul is trying to shine through. 
somebody may be longing for a home or longing the feeling of just being who they are and being like happy and like I just feel like there's a it's a, it's a masculine energy here okay there's somebody here that wants to get out of this damn ship they want to get out of this water get out of these emotions they want to leave something <sighs> did I say there could be a son involved I think I said that or there could be children involved here but it's somebody here that's like they're not seeing the truth behind it or something that is Pisces and Neptune can also be like related to drugs that's why I said delusion because drugs kind of alter your reality there's somebody here that it's a conflict here because the sun energy can see the truth the sun energy is the truth it is happiness it is your true soul it is all of everything that we are before we're exposed to terrible things okay that happy energy is in conflict with somebody's identity like somebody's living a life that they are not that they're somebody else or there's something else or <sighs> let me get something with this stormy king of pentacles here okay this is the hermit card there's somebody here searching for meaning here but it's like how okay i'm gonna say it like this usually the hermit is like walking around right you see he got his cane and he got his light you know he's trying to find the meaning behind things he's trying to find the truth he's trying to find his way he's out here alone and stuff like that but imagine this energy in a boat that's in the stormy seas it's very hard to find meaning here like somebody is not somebody is very conflicted because these energies it's it's really not really matching okay somebody's in a stormy situation trying to find meaning it really feels like dark night of the soul to be honest with you like somebody has to connect with their emotions somebody's how can i say it could be very hard for pisces energy to understand the end of something okay because they're living the dream or they're they're imagining something that not it, it's not or they want something to be that is not and it's like they're trying to find meaning within that you got the queen of pentacles is somebody here that's married because you got the king of pentacles you got the queen of pentacles the Queen of Pentacles can be a Virgo here. Somebody could be a Virgo. Somebody could be an Earth sign, possibly. Or both people could be making money or both people could be, you know, working, you know, supporting someone or supporting a child or something like that. This is a very turbulent home. And I feel that these two people are trying to find meaning in this together. Like they're trying to get through this together. But there is that element of delusion here that I just cannot knock. It's, it's Neptune and Pisces. Neptune and Pisces, yeah, it's home, but it's also like dreamy, like not reality, not like being real. And you got the King of Pentacles out here again. Like, how can that be? How can that be? Okay, this is two people clearly that they're really trying to find or they're trying to keep it together, maybe financially. Maybe they don't want to leave each other or something like that because this is very, very stormy here. Okay, the high priestess is at the bottom. So somebody knows, and it's touching the King of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles is out here twice. Somebody knows that, you know, maybe something is exposed, maybe something is out in the open, maybe somebody knows something for sure. Like if your souls don't match, if your energies don't match, you know, somebody has to accept that. The sun card is here. Like somebody wants to be happy, somebody wants to shine. You get what I'm saying? But it's like this King of Pentacles with this high priestess here, either this King of Pentacles has talked to a high priestess or like a tarot reader or, but they know something like they're in tune with their emotion. Okay. You got the six of Pentacles here. Something about give and take, like they don't want to give it up. 
my goodness. The Hermit and the Six of Pentacles here. It's like, it's something about fairness and give and take. Like somebody, maybe they can't find that. Maybe they're looking for that. Maybe they're being like, somebody's possibly being starved in some kind of way, like a, like physically starved. Nah, not like food. It's like, I feel like something is not fair here or it's, or maybe this is about like, maybe each person puts in 50, 50 or something like that. But it's like, I feel like somebody feels like they're not getting back what they give and they're looking for that. You have the six of swords. So you got the six of pentacle and then you have the six of sword here. It's like, I feel like somebody, I feel that somebody is walking away here, but I feel like somebody's trying to be smart about something. And then you got the, you got six, six, and six, six of pentacles, six of swords, six of cups. Okay. There's somebody. Okay. So the king of cups probably doesn't want to let it go because they go way back or something like that. Or maybe they have a child together or something like that. It has to do with some type of nostalgia or past life relationship. Like somebody feels extremely connected. Okay. And because this is cups, I'm thinking that's who's in this Neptunian energy, this watery energy, because cups represents water. I don't know who this is that's in this. Um, how can I say they're not seeing things for what it is, but you got all these sixes though. So the six of sword is on top of the queen of pentacles. The queen though, she's trying to be smart mentally about something. Like she's trying to, hers is more strategic. Like hers is about her being smart. It would be smart to stay or it would be smart to do something. I even see a mother and child like walking away or leaving or something like that. I don't know who this is, but it's like somebody's looking for fairness. Somebody's looking for equal. Somebody's looking for balance. And if they're looking for it, they're clearly not getting it. Okay. I do not want to say that there's another person involved, but I am, I mean, two King of Pentacles came out. Okay. I'm just saying. And then you got the Queen of Pentacles literally walking away like with a child, like somebody being smart here, like somebody dealing with something maybe until they can get better. OK, I don't know. I hate to put this out there like that. I really hate to put this out there like that, but I just I don't know. Maybe somebody's not seeing it. OK, you got the King of Sword here. There's somebody here that I don't know who talked to this person. I don't know who spoke to this person. OK, or maybe it was something that was said, but this King of Sword is next to this high priestess. There is somebody that maybe said something or they gave you some good ass advice or they really spoke to your soul or it's something here. Okay. Where I believe that somebody's going to get a clear, um, they're going to get a clear message about this. Like maybe somebody is not in tune with their emotions and it took for, let's say a high priest or a high priestess to come in and say something. But I feel like somebody's getting some type of signs. I don't know where these signs are coming from, but I feel like these signs are big because this King of Sword, I feel I feel like the signs that are coming through from the other side, I feel like spirit is using everything. Spirit might use the TV. Spirit might use the damn dog. Spirit might use YouTube or tarot reader. Spirit might use a whole bunch of things. I feel like whatever it is that somebody is looking at, but they're being quiet about it because the high priestess is quiet but they know something for sure. Like they know something for sure. You might, it might be somebody that knows that somebody is holding on for some type of benefit. Like they're trying to be smart. You got the two of swords here. The two of swords here on top of the six of pentacles. It's like, it's something here that's like incomplete. It's something here I just feel like somebody is not acknowledging something. Somebody does not, is not accepting the truth about something. Like they're not getting what they are putting in. They're not getting what they're worth. They're not getting and their Their soul is longing for something. Their soul is looking for something. I don't know who it is, 
but somebody is is not getting it and they're not accepting this they're not like they're not acknowledging this with this two of sword it's like somebody is not they don't see the truth they see something ain't right but they don't they're not acknowledging that they're being like breadcrumbed or they're being like starved or something like that you have the three of cups here this three of cups is like a family here what is this and then you got the sun card I feel that this king of pentacles is keeping something alive like they are the roots of the energy of this relationship they are the one that's giving this relationship power okay or they're giving this relationship focus because they don't want to let this go okay this three of cups i know that there's some type of family here and i hate to say this oh my god i hate to say this but for some people this is a third party situation okay this is a situation where there's a woman that's going to leave a man when she can find a better man and she's just being smart about what she's doing right now okay and maybe this is like undercover maybe somebody is not accepting this maybe somebody doesn't know about this or something like that but i see i see a man trying to keep a relationship together i see the six of wands here okay but this is coming out here sideways so i feel like somebody is going to have a victory in something or they're going to succeed or they're going to get over a hump but i don't feel like it has been gotten like you haven't gotten over it just yet it's somebody that has not succeeded in something or they have not succeeded in seeing the truth or understanding the truth but i feel like it will be revealed there's something about the home here there's somebody that's being like real delusional about something like you know how you could be with somebody and you can tell like you know maybe they're not interested in you no more or they don't want to have sex or something like that it's something like that and you're like but i know this person i know this person is very sexual and i know this person like you know i know the changes in moods like you would really have to be mature to understand what i'm talking about okay but there's something here that somebody just it, they see it and they're seeing it and they might have gotten signs and they might have gotten signals and little maybe dreams or something like that but they're not it's somebody here that is either not accepting it or they have not seen it with their own eyes okay let me get a few of these real quick You have the nine of swords here. I don't think somebody is accepting this pain. They're not accepting this. It's like a trauma here. It's something that probably keeps somebody up or it's very like somebody is like literally going crazy. They're losing their mind or something like that. Like if they have to accept something and that's why they're not trying to accept it. This is a person that really, I feel like somebody deserves somebody deserves what they're putting in and they're not getting it and they're just accepting what they're getting and it's literally tearing them apart like imagine giving all of your blood like when you know they're not giving you nothing back when you know that like you could die because you know you're giving all of your blood sweat tears whatever the case whatever you want to call it there's somebody here that's not accepting that they're being drained like they're not getting what they deserve. They're being drained and they're ignoring the fact that they're being drained. And that's what's keeping them like it's literally driving them crazy here. And then you got the nine of pentacles here. I don't know. I feel like this woman is going to leave. I don't know who this is. Three of cups and then a nine of pentacles. I feel like somebody could be saving some money. Somebody could have some money to move. Somebody could be just waiting on something like and i feel like this king of pentacles is holding on to it because they i feel like they think that this goes way back or they've had this for a while or it's something you know maybe they have a son together because his son came out twice and then you got the ace of sword that's yeah this is the truth here this is the truth here somebody needs to accept the truth here somebody needs to see it 
Somebody needs to have that clarity. Like they need to develop a new mindset. They need to see the shit for what it is. Like it doesn't matter if you have a child together. <sighs> Especially if this whole damn thing is stormy. The home is just going through it. You can have a child together. You can take care of that child. You can love that child. But it doesn't mean that you have to stay together. Especially if you're unhappy. Okay? Especially if you're being driven crazy. Especially if you're looking for meaning in this relationship. And you're looking for balance. And you're looking for what you put in. And you're not getting it. And you're just sitting there dealing with it. Okay? And you're getting signs about this. Maybe somebody has even told you. Maybe you have even talked to a tarot reader or something like that. But there is a victory. Like, there is a... Something is pending here. Somebody has to stand in their energy. Because Six of Wands is about courage. So somebody really has to stand in their energy. And they really have to... I have to say this. They really have to choose themselves. Okay? Let me get an angel message here. It's like you have to choose yourself first in any relationship. You have to choose yourself first. Okay? You have to love yourself first and you will attract somebody that loves you. But if you're dealing with bullshit, then that's what you're choosing to deal with. You don't have to deal with something that makes you unhappy. What is this angel message here? We have trust the universe. Okay, if something is being pulled away, if something is being exposed, if something is so stormy, okay, you have to trust the universe. You may not be able to see everything that's going on. You may be in delusion about certain things. But if the universe is pulling something away from you, if the universe is separating something, if the universe is making it apparent that you're being starved, you're being breadcrumb, you're not getting what you're putting in and it's driving you crazy, okay? And there may be other things that you have seen and you have not accepted it, okay? I'm just saying, earth and ground here, I don't know, I'm getting a message, somebody, I mean, how can I say, spirit says show the picture, okay? I don't know what this picture means to somebody, but somebody needs to earth and ground. Somebody needs to earth and ground here. I'm going to leave it right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.